are ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! You are listening to the Goofloor Radio Show. He's the best of the best of the best. God, I love the station. If you don't like them, I'm sure your sister will. Hey, babe, you want to go out? Everybody. My name is Goof Norton and welcome back to another broadcast of the Goof Norton Radio Show. I have got some stuff for you guys today. Um, so I was just watching this video on uh, on Facebook. Actually, first of all, um, I've been I've been gone for a while and um, from the podcast, uh, but I, I'm in because because I'm sick. I'm sick right now, um, so I'm trying to get this stuff out now before I get too sick and I can't really talk as much. Um, but today has been a really good day for me. Uh, I mean, nothing really has gone wrong so far, but uh, I'm glad to be back here. So I, I was, ju- I'm, I just literally just got finished watching this video on Facebook, where this woman is uh, basically being a very intolerant, you know, lay- being very intolerant towards this couple who literally, um, the guy just kissed her, his, kissed his girlfriend on her forehead. And then this woman starts taking it out of, you know, out of proportion and is all like, oh, oh, you're making out with your girlfriend right there while I'm trying to order. And I will put the link in the description below if I can get it. Um, but good gosh, it's so, it's like so cringy, cringeworthy um, and so annoying and really stupid. Like lady, like, and then she was like, oh, you like, and then she like changed the changes it to instead of making out to having sex. I was like, um, OK, that's a big jump. Um it's really mind-boggling that, you know, people like this exist, um, it's really, really stupid, um, uh, it's stupid people like this that make everybody else's, you know, lives harder, it's like, good gosh, like, what is going on, um, uh, so, yeah, you guys go watch that, and you tell me what you think about it, because right now, I'm just, I'm just flabbergasted, and just like, what, what is wrong with you, like, they're not even, they're literally waiting there, um, and he just kissed her on the forehead, and she's, uh, and the lady who, um, you know, who's, I guess, in this situation, assaulting these guys, verbally assaulting, not physically assaulting, um, at least I don't think there's any physical assault in this, uh, <laughs> she claims, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I'm still watching it, and she claims, <laughs> she starts to claim he was having sex with her, even though they're, they're not, a kiss on the forehead, that is completely different. <laughs> And it's so funny. It is so stupid. At the same time, like, lady, just get your order. Finish your order and go. And that's what, I mean, that's what the couple told her. It's like, can you just finish your order so we can, you know, get our food? And she was like, no. You know, you guys are doing this bad stuff in a public place. Even though, I mean, and it's not a, technically a public place. It is pri- privately owned. But she's like, oh, no, it's public. But it is privately owned, um, as stated by the couple. And, um, and there, the couple was like, okay, you know, if we're like, if we're making you uncomfortable, well, let's, can you, can you finish your order so we can order our food and, you know, get out? And the lady was like, still no. And the guy, the guy actually made a good point. He was like, um, like, wow, you are really harboring some, you know, hard feelings because this kind of stuff comes from that. I mean, this doesn't really just randomly happen, but like, this is... It just takes a little bit of something to, you know, tip somebody over. Um, that, and that kind of really shows you never know what somebody's actually going through. But good gosh, if, I mean, this is this is a little bit much. I mean, this is ridiculous. This shouldn't really even happen. Um, so, so, I mean, I don't even know what to think about this anymore. Uh, but it's, it is what it is. Um, and in other news, uh... YouTube and Google stuff is going on, um, apparently, as I've heard. 
uh, YouTube and Google, something, ha something is happening, I forget what, uh, I forget, they're being boycotted, um, because ads are being showed with extremist ads or something along those lines, if anybody, um, can help me out with that, let me know, just, like, leave me a link to an article in the, in the description below, I will be, uh, sure to, I'll be sure to, uh, read that and probably get back to you guys. Um, and in other news, freaking comments have been going crazy. Uh, there is a YouTube channel by the name of Non-Copyright Music, Tribal NCS, that has been leaving comments on, uh, some people's videos. Extraordinary video, I was entertained by this, and generic stuff like that. Um, and one of the guys actually asked, you know, asked the question, what exactly, what... What exactly were the parts uh, you were entertained by? And there's been no response. And this has been then another guy has tried this, you know, months ago, and still no responses. You know, um, so I don't know if this is just a bot, if it's fake, if somebody's just doing this to, I guess, try to, you know, boost somebody's self-esteem. Um, but I mean, really, it's it's raising a little bit more eyebrows. You know, people are like, what's going on? Uh, because, like, a general comment like that doesn't help us, you know? It's like, oh, what what parts did you enjoy? Um, like, if when, you, when people say specifically, like, oh, I enjoyed this part, that really helps us. When you don't say that, that really kind of, ah, that kind of makes us, like, question whether you're real or not. And also, it makes us question, did you even really pay attention to the video, or did you just watch it to watch it, or watch it to just, I guess, give us another view, but it's not, you know, it doesn't mean anything if you guys aren't, you know, giving feedback and anything like that, uh, especially if you see something you like, then tell us about that, you know, if you see something you, you know, you don't necessarily like, tell us about that, we appreciate all of that, um, especially the smaller YouTubers, we, we love that kind of stuff, we need that to, you know, build our channels, uh, better, sorry, oh boy, um, but, you know, like, just tell us. Um, whoa, uh, I think I just found something else that's very interesting to my eye. Uh, let me see. Okay, uh, so I found something else. I just literally just found this. Um, the guy posted, has your channel been demonetized or put in restricted mode? Our affiliate program pays 10 to 100 times more than Google AdSense. Uh, we support free speech. Welcome to America. That's a normal thing we have here. I don't know if this is not, if, if this is an, uh, not an outsourced company or not an, well, uh, uh, this is an outside business or something. I don't know what it is. Um, the way it works is YouTubers recommend point prizes as a way of earning free free gift codes. They leave one of our referral links at the top of their video description. When users sign up, they earn points. When users complete offers, they also earn points. This is an example of YouTubers made $1,000 with us. Even though it says small YouTuber makes 500 with point, I'm confused. Let me check out this website. I will leave this also in the description below. Oh wow, this looks like a legit website. This actually looks pretty nice, but I still don't know. I'm very, um, very, very skeptical about this. We support free speech. We support creators. We pay more. Earn points for every referred account. 10% of points they earn. Um, let's see, exchange points for PayPal, exchange, for, exchange points for Bitcoin, um, monetize your YouTube video descriptions. Wow. 4,988 successful affiliates. Um, this is interesting. I mean, I don't, part of me doesn't want to do this because it's like, it feels like a scam. Uh, like, I'm not one to always put like, oh, free gift card codes out, because then that makes me seem like I'm a scammer or something. Um, but they have, apparently, a bunch of 
gift cards for PlayStation, PayPal, Bitcoin, Steam, iTunes, Minecraft, Clash of Clans, Google Play, League of Legends, Xbox, Amazon, Eve Online, Star Stable, uh, Netflix, Apple, eBay, Gap, and RuneScape, which is apparently coming back. Don't know why it's coming back, but it's apparently coming back. Don't miss out. Starting points now. Um, so I'll leave this in the description below for you guys to go check out because I have no freaking idea what the heck it's all about. Uh, even though I just read it. But I still don't know what it's all about because I still don't know if it's trustworthy. So um, <clears throat> besides all that nonsense going on, um, I, started a, uh, I started a Patreon because I'm trying to uh, get a capture card so I can start doing uh console games because i have a bunch of console games that i can play for you guys literally i have my old school console sitting in a box and my xbox is somewhere but i i mean i like to get a capture card so you guys can uh so i can play some games for you guys because i really think i'd enjoy doing that and also i think i didn't uh also i think you guys would enjoy that because it gives me a chance to play, you know, uh, more than just PC games, so I'm not stuck just playing, uh, well, like, stuff like, uh, Happy Wheels, or, uh, um, what was that other game? Dang it. Dang it, I can't remember. Risky Rescue, there you go. Or, um, Expender Bros, or, uh, well, actually, no, some of those, actually, Expender Bros is actually fine. I kind of like that game. But I'm not stuck playing all these, uh, games that you guys really don't like. Um, and games I really don't like to play because they're just filler games because I've had a few of those in the past and I really don't I want to stay away from those because they'll suck so much um, and uh, yeah so if you guys uh, I guess I'll leave it in the description below because I have nothing else to do with it really um, but if you want to donate I mean to unlock whatever this stuff is uh, it's a dollar it's literally a dollar um, and some of the rewards include possibly being a guest star on the podcast, on this show right here. Because I haven't been doing it in a while, and, I, and people like it when there are guests on here. And, um, you know, I can do interviews and all that stuff and whatnot. Uh, you get paid, patron-only polls, uh, and just time to chat and game with me. Because I get bored sometimes, and I have nothing to do. So that's where you guys come in. So those are some of the perks for, uh, and there's probably going to be more stuff when I think of it, but, um, yeah, so just so you guys know about that, I now have Patreon, and I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to start hopefully, um, saving up, eventually I'll, I'll plan on getting a TV, um, so I can do some other recording, uh, for the Goof Gaming channel. Uh, with John and whatnot, because I think uh, that we would do good with uh, recording console games on that channel as well. Oh man, I am sick, and it, I hate it when I get sick because it's rare that I get sick anymore. Actually, uh, I think I only got sick what a couple times last year, and then this year is the first time. It's starting early, really. It's April. April Fools was yesterday. I saw some pretty freaking weird videos on YouTube. Oh man, sorry. Like, I just ate pizza, and I kind of burped it up there. Weird feeling in my throat. Oh, man. So, uh, I've been... Oh, man. Oh, yeah. So, I, I tried to record a video for Minecraft. Um, and it was in that little announcement video, thank you guys, thanking you guys for coming to the stream. Uh, that was a really nice stream we had. Uh, I have no idea how much money you raised, because uh, Child's Play did not approve my event until after the event was over. Um, and I had to start early because I had some other things to do, but they still approved my event, like, after it would have, my, the event I had planned would have ended, um, so I couldn't really do anything about it, it's fine, um, so I couldn't keep track if anybody donated or not, but, um, hey, you know, things happen, and, but there's always next time, because I'll, I'll be sure to do it again, because streaming, especially charity streams, uh, they're fun, because people come by, you know, you don't normally talk to, um, or you don't, or new people come by, and you're, and they're like, hey, and I'm like, hey, and we're all having a good time, and all that stuff, <sighs> man, so, um, yeah, hopefully I can find some new games for you guys to, not for you guys to play, but for new games for me to play, for you guys, uh, I mean, I found some, but 
I don't know how my recorder is going to handle that. Because there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to be pretty freaking weird. Because um, a lot of the stuff kind of taxes my computer to a point. Not to a point where it crashes, but to a point where like the game just freaking closes. Or I just close the game because it's running too slow. Um, so, yeah. Wait, did I, say, did I finish my thought about the video? Oh yeah, I was recording a video to thank you guys for coming to the stream. Um, but... Minecraft, because I was working on a special Minecraft map where anybody who has Xbox One um, or Windows 10 Minecraft, you guys could come join me and play on the map. Um, that's my way of saying thank you. Uh, but Minecraft is apparently broken. Um, I don't know what's going on with it. I'll have to look up in the forums or something. But Windows 10 Minecraft is its not working right. Because I can have it open, and then when I record, um, after I stop the recording, it closes. Minecraft closes. And I don't understand why, because I don't set it to close after my after I'm done recording. It just closes before I get a chance to save. And that really angers me, because I did so much work on that map, and now it's gone. And so now I'm just a very angry dude. Um, I just I really... Because I, I don't know if it's saved because I haven't opened it yet because I really don't want to because I'm really pissed off at Minecraft right now. Um, but, I mean, it, it, that just really angers me. I'm like, come on. Like, really? You have one job. Stay open and let me play on you. Dang it, Minecraft. That's probably why I'm going to have to buy um, PC Minecraft. Because Windows 10, because Microsoft is doing too much and trying to own everything here. I mean, they own my, my They own... Do they own Minecraft? I think they well they they do now. Um, so yeah, that's why Windows 10 Minecraft was created. But it sucks. Um, I have to admit it sucks. Uh, it's really not a. It's not that good, but it's also not. It's just basically it's basically um, Xbox Minecraft on a PC. That's all it is. It's not it's not anything different than that. The stuff you can do on the Xbox. With Minecraft, there's a stuff you can do in Windows 10 Minecraft. There's not much of a stretch. It's a copy of um, Pocket Edition, actually, Minecraft, if you didn't know that, which is really stupid. But, hey, who cares? Um, but the last thing I want to say to you guys is thank you, because for all the uh, people who com commented on that vlog I put out um, with the outpouring of support and all that stuff, I really want to thank you guys, because you, uh, you guys are always there. And I really appreciate that. Uh, you guys helped me push through. Because, I mean, I, I have to admit, I mean, there is uh, there is times that come where I'm like, I look at my old videos and it's like, wow, what actually happened to me? Um, because I'm not, I'm obviously not the same. Changed a lot since then. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep pushing on, keep making more videos. I'm going to have more good times and other stuff like that. I brought back the, uh, the Legend of Zelda series because I love that series. I love that game. And I, I, I stopped it because my recording software, again, crapped out of me. Uh, the recording software is Flashback Express. Don't use that recorder for long periods of time. I used it for hmm, maybe like three months, and then it crapped out on me. And so I hate it now forever. Um, it was suggested to me by a friend. Um, I haven't yet told him that it crapped out on me. I will probably tell him soon. Um, but I'm, I now just use OBS to record uh, because, uh, yeah. Uh, because apparently, and because it's easier for me to use now because I can set scene switches and anything. Um, I just, the only thing I don't like about it is I can't pause the recording so I can, like, fix something. <laughs> But, you know, it's fine, because I can just stop the recording, I guess, and then just... Because, yeah, that's what I do. I stop the recording, fix whatever needs to be fixed, or move ahead in the game where I need to go, and then start a new recording, and then paste them all together. Because that's not hard. I mean, I don't even... I don't need an editor for that. I could do that. That's the easy part. So, yay! Also, I hope you guys enjoy the little intro I put in front of the video. That, not, not this video. I mean, hope you guys enjoy the intro from this video. Um, that took me, I mean, originally it took me 30 minutes to put together. Uh, sometimes I change it up because I forget what originally I put in there. 
But hey, who cares? As long as it sounds good, it works. I'll try to save it this time so I can use it, so I can keep it constant. Um, but the intro in front of the uh, in the front of the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time video number nine, I put some I, I did some work on that one. Uh, I tried to make it better. Uh, it wasn't as good as I planned it to be in my head, but it turned out pretty fine. So um, hope you guys enjoy that. And that will do it for this podcast. I keep burping. It's not going good for me. Gotta go drink some water. Oh, gosh. So thank you, everybody, so much for listening to this podcast. Um, I don't know what number this is. I just, I stopped counting after 30. I'm just gonna, I just do them now. <laughs> I just do them now. And uh, hope somebody listens. And, uh, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.